Hey, my creatives, it's your girl, Tina. Welcome back to the channel. Happy National Scrapbooking Day. Can somebody tell him thank you? Yes, you all, today is National Scrapbooking Day for 2021. Now, here's the thing. When I came to YouTube, I came as a scrapbooker, looking for other scrapbookers, didn't know anything else was out here until, bam, I ran into the, uh, what can you call it? Paper crafters. I ran into the card making community. I've ran into the mixed media community. Overwhelm me. So today you all, I am going to celebrate national scrapbooking day for 2021. And I want to tell you, I am no longer just a scrapbooker. I consider myself a paper crafter. And I want to consider myself a mixed media artist. I'm almost there. I almost feel comfortable with that one. But I love me some mixed media. And I love me some paper crafting. And you know my heart were well, always and still is with scrapbooking. So today, you all, I will be um, just hanging out with you, doing various videos in honor of National Scrapbooking Day 2021. This project, you all, we will be creating a junk journal. So I have already completed one. I'm going to go through it real quick with you. All right. And I am going to actually do one right here live. Is this considered live? No, this is not considered live. It's pre-recorded. But I'm going to go step by step on creating a lemon theme junk journal. Now, if you want to venture off with me, stop the video right now. Stop the video. And go get you a journal. These are journals that came from Joanne Fabric in the dollar bin a few years ago. And they were just plain journals. All right. And I decided to make a junk lemon theme journal. I will be doing some tool burning. We will be doing some um, mixed media techniques, making splatters and uh, some paints, right? We'll be adding some flip-ins, just different things. We're going to put some color to this black and white journal, okay? So, stop the video and run and get you... A journal run and get you some acrylic paint run and get you a spray bottle with some water go ahead and pull out you some washi tape now my journal is going to be lemon theme but your journal could be whatever you want it to be so go run and get you some washi tape if you have some lace trim or any kind of trim you could run and go and get that and come on back and join me in making a junk journal so these are the journals that I got from um, Joanne fabric as you can see sparkle and company right so this is how this journal starts off first of all let's compare this is how it starts off right it's flat it's cute just like it is but we finna add some extra interest right okay so you can see it gets kind of kind of puffy there when we finish at the end so these two journals came in this pack together i'm gonna show you the other one this was the set that came with this um lemon two journals it's 32 pages in each one of these journals so you can go and get you a journal now run and get your supplies some paint 
a splatter brush, a water bottle, spray, spray water bottle. Go get your trims, laces, go and get your stapler. You can run and get you some washi tape and come on back and join me in creating a mixed media journal. Okay. All right. Some of the things that I'm going to use, I'm going to show you real quick. Um, like I said, some paint, I got some acrylic spray paint, and then I got some regular paint. I got my washies here. I'm going to use some of those. Here's my spray bottle. Then we got some laces and trims. I'm going to probably use some of those. And here's the tool. We will be burning tool in this journal. All right. Okay, so let's get started. It's a junk journal, and it's going to be Tina's version of a junk journal, right? You can put whatever you want to put in yours. Um, go and get you some ends and odds. Those who make junk journals, you know how to do it. I'm going to be using this guest check. I'm going to be using this due date pad, and I think... I'll probably be using some of these index cards. You could put whatever you want to put in your junk journal. All right. So let's get started. Now, let me warn you in advance. This project, or I should say this video, I'm saying it's going to take me at least 30 minutes to get through this journal. All right. So just be aware that this video is not going to be a quick and fast video right? I'm going to take my time and I'm going to have fun and create this junk journal. This junk journal is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to bring it down. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. So this is a six by four um, size journal. Nice and uh, compact that you could put into your purse, your traveling bag, and so forth. All right, the first thing we want to do is crack this baby open to the center and add some color and do our backgrounds. So what we're going to do here is we're going to be using this splatter mat, and I'm going to go in first with some spray paint. And this is that Recollection spray paint. Um, it gives a little shimmer. It's called a pastel. But I'm going to be spraying this on some pages. Now, there's no wrong or right. This is my splatter box. I'm going to use the splatter box. And I'm just going to go in and spray random pages. So I started here in the middle now let me say this you're going to need a heat tool because it's very important this is not water color paper this paper was not designed to absorb water so every time we use a wet medium i'm going to go in with my um dryer and dry the page so if you're sensitive please be advised that i will be using this heat gun to dry my pages all right, and we're going to dry in between every time we apply some wet medium. Does that make sense? So I'm going to give you a few seconds. Go get your heat tool because you do need a heat tool, right? Now, remember, this is like a mixed media thing type journal, junk journal. There's no wrong. There's no right. The messier, the better. You will like the end result, okay? All right, here we go. Let's start spraying we just spraying misting and then we're going to dry all right we're gonna flip the pages we're gonna miss We're going to dry. Now, if you feel you want more, you can always go in and add more, but you must dry as you go.
You could turn the pages and drown the back as well. Okay, and we're just gonna keep turning. And we're gonna keep mixing. Now keep in mind, the heavier you spray, the more drying is going to take. So I'm just lightly misting. It's not nothing heavy. You could do every page, you could do every other page. It's your choice. That one I did kind of heavy. I don't want to keep my outside clean. This is one thing I like about these journals. You can wipe the outside cover down really, really well. All right, here we go. We study going. You're going to do this throughout your whole book. So if you need to, for some reason, stop and do this uh, step, you can do that now. I'm going through the entire book. And I'm misting with this spray. No wrong, no right. Remember, you could turn the pages, draft from the back. Okay, continue. Here we go. I'm gonna spray, continue to spray. You could use spray in a bottle that you made, any spray that you have. Okay, that's the end. Now we're going back to the beginning. We're going to do the opposite side because I went backwards. And now we're going to go forward and finish the book out. Now, let me say this. If you do not have any sprays like this, you can take a spray bottle that you may have from Dollar Tree or any empty spray bottle. Put you some acrylic paint inside the spray bottle and put water to it. Water the paint down and make your own spray real quick and just come spray with me all through your journal. All right, here we go. Let's keep spraying. I'm getting down to the bottom of this bottle.
and you all, I was just thinking, I said 30 minutes. It's probably, I'll, get, I'll give it an hour. I'm going to say this video is going to probably be like an hour. Hang with me. Have some fun. Go and get your supplies. Pull out you a journal. I know we all have these journals from the Dollar Tree. We get them from Joann's, Michael's. Go get you a journal and let's junk it. Okay, I went heavy on that round. You don't want any of your pages to look alike. Every page is going to be different. Some you might put heavy spray. Some you might spray light. No wrong or no right. We just having fun. We going to junk this journal. Mixed media style. <laughs> We're going to junk this journal. Mixed media style, you all. All right, let's keep turning. Like I said, you could do every page. You could do every other page. It's your choice. I, I think I've been doing every two pages so far. We are almost to the front of this journal. Now, let me say this. We, if you are going to do a color theme like I'm doing, I'm doing yellow. So I'm using different shades of yellow. I'm starting off with a very light yellow. This is a light shimmery yellow. But as you're going to see as we go further with the next step, I'm going to use a darker yellow. We're still working on the background pages. Or I should say we're working on the background of the pages. All right, remember, you want to get it dry, but it don't have to be perfect dry because as we go on, it's going to have time to dry on its own. Now, I'm doing the back of this page because this is one of the pages that I sprayed very heavily on. So you can dry. If you can't seem to get it dry on the top side, go to the back. All right, we're going to continue on. Almost done with our first layer. Continue to spray. Now you want a splatter box because if you don't, you're going to have spray everywhere. Like I got right now, I'm visualizing. Or I, I can see. <laughs> but at this point, I'm just having fun. I'm not really concerned. Continue. Okay, that one was kind of heavy too, you all.
right, we're down to our last few pages. This is our front page. All right, we're going to spray that, and then we're done with the first layer. If you have not gotten your stuff, go get it now. you all this was our first layer right so we just added some color basically we went through we picked some pages and we sprayed them down all right so now we're going to get even messier because now we're going to do some drips and some splatters so i told you all i use this as a very light pale yellow right it's a light pale yellow and now we're going to go in with some darker shades of yellow now what we're going to do is we're going to put some of this um acrylic paint down i'm actually going to mix two colors together so i'm using this craftsmith bright yellow and i'm using y'all know i love king's gold right so we're going to mix these two together you want a nice little amount because we're going to be going through the entire, um, we're going to be going through the entire book, right? Okay, so right now we're going to start off with some, uh, we're going to do some drips. We're going to do some drips and then we'll come back with some with some splatter now we're going to do drips whatever pages that we put the spray on those are the pages that we're going to focus on right now all right so all of the pages that we already put some um color to we're going to those pages so what we're going to do is we're going to water this down this paint so that we can have some drips now in order to get drips you need your you need your um your paint to be very loose, right? So you want to water it down where the drips can run. All right? Don't be concerned. Say, oh, this is a mess. This is mixed media. This is what we're doing. All right? Now, if you don't want it this color, if you want it a little bit lighter, which is what I want, I'm going to add some more of this light yellow because I don't want it to be that dark. We're going to use the dark king gold true color for our splatters. All right. Now, remember you need a bottle that sprays because for our drips, we're going to be spraying. And remember, in between every page, I will be using the heat gun. So if you're sensitive, you might not want to watch this video. Here we go. All right, we, we want to add some drips first. So I'm just going to put some uh, paint in different places. As you can see, it's going to start to run, right? Now, here's what's going to help it. I'm going to take this spray bottle and I'm going to begin to spray to make sure that that paint moves and it's going to start to drift, right, to where I want it. And then as it's drifting, you all, that's beautiful. I'm going to go in with this heat gun and I'm going to be heating it and drying it up. Now, I did that a little bit too heavy, so let me loosen it again. And remember, this is not watercolor paper. So you have to use that heat gun. And the heat gun is going to move that paint.
right, it's still wet, but I'm going to turn it over and start drying it from the back. It will speed up the drying process. Don't be afraid. It's just paint and water and paper. Okay, I'm going to open it again. Now, I just made this too wet, and that's why it's taking as a longer time, but that's okay. Nothing turns out how you want it to turn out when you're on camera. <laughs> I've learned that. All right, so I'm going to add some more water because it's too thick, right? I, I want it to dry kind of faster than that. So we just add more water, watering this down. Don't be concerned, Tina, making a puddle. We will be using all of this and some before we get through with this book, all right? So let's turn our page. We're going to the next page that we already laid some color down. And again, we're doing drips. So just put your paint. You see, that's how it's supposed to run. I didn't have enough water. Okay. Then you coming back and you're going to spread it out. When you, when you spray, it starts to run. Then you're going to grab your heat tool. It's going to run even more. You want all of that. You want all of that. No wrong, no right. We junking it. As you can see, this page is drying much faster than the other page because I put the paint too thick. It wasn't watered down enough. As you can see, it's drying faster. We're going to the next page. Whatever colors that you're using, just embrace it. Don't worry about it. Keep going. All right, we're on the next page. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to keep applying drips. And you can put your drips everywhere, anywhere. You don't have to put them all at the top. You see I dipped off and put some on the side. Just let it drip. Then you're going to come in with your spray bottle, spraying it down, moving that paint, and then grabbing your tool and heat. No two pages will be alike. No two notebooks will be alike. I love the colors of these yellows. Beautiful. Yellow makes you feel so alive and it really welcomes screen in. Okay, remember you can always turn the page and dry from the opposite side. So we're going to turn the page over. Now we dry from the opposite side. If your papers look too wrinkled, you can use this heat tool as an iron and flatten that page out. Okay, don't be afraid. Let it seep 
to the next page, it's only going to add interest. Okay, so don't be worried if it if it seeps over to the next page. That's okay. That's what we want. This is a mixed media junk journal. Here we go. I'm putting some in the middle now, you, you all, because I want the middle. I want the sides. I want my pages to all be different, right? So I'm just putting splotches of paint, and then I'm going to come in. And I'm going to move this paint with my spray bottle. So all you're doing is moving that paint with your spray bottle. Okay. I want a little bit more color. So I'm just going to blop it there and let it run. It's going to run. Let it run. Here we go. I know somebody is holding their breath. What in the world is Tina doing? Junk in this journal. We're going to put some texture in this journal. This is going to be a fun journal. And when you use whatever color you like, that's what makes it even better. So if you have not been convinced to come and play along with me and make a journal, stop the video now. Run and get you an empty journal, some acrylic paint, a spray bottle with some water, and some ephemera to put inside and come junk a journal with me. All right, let's keep going. All right, we looking for the next page. These is pages that we already added a little spray on. Okay, here we go. I'm putting some more paint. And like I said, don't worry. You all thought I was making a big mess. We gonna use all of this paint and some more. Right? And some more. Spray bottle, move that paint around. So all we doing is moving paint when you spray. Now, you don't have to use as much water as I did. You could use whatever you feel. But we moving that, that paint around. And then when you put your heat tool to it, it's going to move it around. So we making puddles and drips. Puddles and drips. Puddles and drips. Puddles and drips. The less water you use, the faster it is dry. Okay. All right, let's keep moving this train. We are moving, moving, moving. Moving, moving, moving. Moving, moving, moving. This train. All right, my pages. Okay, here we go. All right, more paint. Now, as you see, my little puddle is drying up, right? I'm just going to spray water. Matter of fact, we're just going to drip some water. Loosen this here up and keep going. Remember, your pages don't have to look the same. 
We want every page to be different. So here we go. Let's make some more drips. And some more puddles, as you can see. Now I'm gonna spray and move this paint. Let it drip, let it run. Beautiful. Remember I said that you can go and dry from the back side. Let it seep over all that is extra interest. It's going to make your journal beautiful. All right, let's continue. We're almost to the beginning of the journal. All right. Let's lift up some more paint. We in the middle. Right. Okay. All right, here we go. So all together, we're gonna to be doing like, I think six or seven steps, you all. This is step number two. So we put down a light shimmer base coat, added some color to the pages. Now we are doing our puddles and drips. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, here we go. Puddles and drips. And if you're wondering about this little drip mat, I had did a um, little small Dollar Tree haul where I bought these. These are little um, mats for your kitchen. And they work excellent in your craft room. All right, I did not move this paint. Let's move it. I need to fill this spray bottle back again. All right, here we go. So this is a dollar mat from, it's like a food prep mat. You find these little clear mats over in the um, kitchen utensil section. You get two in there for a dollar, and they're excellent for wet medium stuff like what we're doing right now. Just in case you was wondering, 
where I got this clear mat from. I'm not worried about this paint because at the when I get finished at the end, I'm going to take a wipe and it wipes right on off and I can reuse the mat. So you need to check it out in your local dollar store. It's good for if you do like gluing. I have one that I do all my gluing on top of. All right. We almost to the front of this journal, you all. If you're not convinced that you want to play, <laughs> come on and play. We making a junk journal. Come play with your girl. So I'm putting this in different ways. And I, I realized that I hit the camera. I'm so sorry. We just trying to get this paint to move. Right? Okay. Here we go. Splatters and puddles. I mean, drips and puddles. That's all we're doing in this step. Next will be our splatter step. Because if you watch your girl, y'all know I like splatters. <laughs> so you know I'm not going to junk a journal without putting my splatters. Remember I told you you could press your page straight. If it's real wrinkled, just apply that heat gun on there and it'll press that sheet straight brand new. Take the wrinkles out. Don't be afraid. It's not going to catch on fire. Unless you holding it forever. Then it'll catch on fire. But just running it through, it's not going to catch on fire. All right, y'all. We got a few more pages to go. I need to add some more water in this bottle. So let me do this right now. Fill my bottle back up. And I got these bottles from Dollar Tree. You can use any spray bottle. All right, let's wet this down some more. The more water down it is, the lighter your color going to be, and the more it's going to move, right? So we want it to move. We almost at the end of this step, you all. Look at it. It's running. It's running, and that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to run, right? Okay, here we go. Let's try to move it a little bit. Okay. Next page. We're looking for pages that we put paint on previously. You all, I mopped that. I'm left-handed. <laughs> and I can't do some stuff. I be trying to do with my right hand. Be like, girl, you know you left handed. Stop playing. <laughs> ah, too funny, too funny. 
Okay, let's just move this paint. See if we can get it to drip. There we go. You see how my pages swelled up? I love it. We started off with a little thin journal, flat, cute, and neat. And we're going to have a puff journal when we end. I love it. All right, let's move on. And if the paint is still a little wet like that, it's just going to smash and go to the other side, which adds extra interest. So don't get alarmed. And don't worry and think that something is wrong. All right, you all, I need to add just a little bit more paint because we thin. We only got a few more pages to go, but that's okay. We added a little bit more paint. Now let me add some more water. All right. And we're going to do these few, few pages. I got paint bottles everywhere. Remember... No two pages will look alike, right? Each page is going to be different. So if you want to do puddles like this, the whole goal is to flop down some water down paint and then make it run. That's all we're doing is making the paint run a little bit. When you add the water, it makes it run. And then you dry it. And then that's the effect that you have, right? Here we go. As you can see, it's drying up. And the pages are not tearing. You just dry it. Turn this page, and I'm going to dry from the back. There we go. Try a little bit more, you yeah. all. I pray we all be ready. I pray we all be ready. Pray we all be ready for his return. Pray we all be ready. I pray we all be ready. Pray we all be ready for his return. I pray we all be ready. Pray, pray we all be ready. Pray we all be ready. All right, y'all, we made it to the front of the book. 
I love it. We're going to leave this just like it is. This one did get a little too wet. But that's okay because we're junking this journal. All right, so you can take your, your tweet tool and just go through the pages on the edges. Look at all that yumminess. I love it, you all. I love, I love, I love. All right, we finna do some splatters. We are going to do some splatters, right? And I want my splatters to be really, really dark yellow. So I put down some more of that King's Gold. I'm just going to clean this for a minute, this little brush for a minute. Because I do have paint everywhere. All right. And we're going to make some splatters. All right, so all we're going to do is go in. We're going to go into the pages that we did not put any paint. Because remember, I was doing every two pages, and then I laid some paint. So now we're going to do some splattering. Let me just put this down here because I don't want my cover to get paint on it, right? I do want to save my cup, my cover. Now, move anything out of your way because you know splatters have a man of its own and it goes where it wants to go. So, we're just doing some splatters. And then, we're finna heat. Here we go. Now, with the splatters, you want them to be thinner than this, watered down. It wouldn't take this long. So, I'm going to make it a little thinner, the paint a little thinner, so that when I splat, it'll go ahead on and heat up. Now, I'm going to just smash this down, rub it lightly, do it from the back, right? All right, let me water these paint down some more because I want, I don't want the paint to be that thick. All right, I want splatters, but I want it to be thin so it can go ahead on and dry. All right, we're going to move on, even though that's not all the way dry. We're not going to worry about that. We just want to make some splatters, right? And if some of your pages stuck together, that's okay too. All you're doing is laying down. I'm going to switch this so you all can see. I'm going to do the splatters on this side. You already seen the paint. So now, I'm going to lay this down, and I'm going to make me some splatters, right? And so, again, you could do light splatters. You could do a bunch of splatters, a few splatters, but make sure your paint is thin. Make sure it's thinned out with the water. Here we go. Moving on. Make sure y'all see me. Right? We skipping pages. More splattering. Sometimes I have to lay something on my page. 
All right, here we go. Y'all, I'm scared to look at the time. Because <laughs> I probably done went over what I said. I know I did, but that's all right. Y'all stick with me if you want to. If not, I'll see y'all on the next video. I'll be here all day crafting with you, doing different projects. All right, let's move on. Next page. So you just keep doing this. Now, you don't have to do as many pages as I did. You could do how many pages you want to have splatters on. It's up to you. It's your journal, and you can have it your way. All right, put me a little bit more water. Water this down some more. The more water it is, the faster it will dry. All right. Moving along, moving along. All right. That was just too thick right there. So I just made that a puddle. And I'm going to keep watering it down till it dry to where I want it. This is called mixed media, y'all. We are junking this journal.
Okay. What you all think so far? So far, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Are you convinced to come join me yet? Okay, got a few more pages to go. Continue to water down and mix up. Those of you that's deciding to do this journey with me, go ahead and make sure that you tag me, leave me a message in the comments to let me know so that I can come over and view your junk journey. Your junk mixed media journal. Let's keep going. Now, because we let our paint overlap, some of the pages might have stuck together because we did not dry completely all the way. These I just tore with my little heavy hand. Just go in. It doesn't matter because it's mixed media, right? Nothing's perfect in mixed media. Let's go in and dry. And I learned early on when I was scrapbooking. No mistakes in scrapbooking. You cover that mistake up with a button, a scrap piece of paper, a flower, and you keep it moving. And that's what we're going to do today. That's what we're going to do today. Keep it moving. Because remember, this was not watercolor paper. So it was not designed to hold water. But we're going to make it work. Right? That's what we're going to do. We're going to make it work. For our purpose. Alright, here we go. We're going to turn over. Don't worry about that little rip. 
because that's going to all work out. All right. Why that song is in my spirit. Pray we all be ready. When he returns, I pray that the Lord is here. All right, let's keep going. We almost at the end of this step, which was our splatter step, and we'll be moving on to the next. Uh, where my spray bottle? I guess he got tired of me spraying it and rolled off the table. If your splatters are too thick, water them down. Let them be a puddle or let them be a drip. No wrong or right. Just keep moving. So, what can you do with this journal? You can write in this journal, take notes in this journal, you can draw in this journal, you can put pictures in this journal. It's a lot of things you can do with this journal. Do not let the fact that you use acrylic paint make you feel like this journal is not going to be functional. This is a functional journal, right? We just adding some color and extra interest. That's all. Y'all, I have not looked at the clock. I'm scared to look at the clock. I'm scared to look at the clock. I'm not going to look at the clock. I'm just going to keep going until this journal is complete. If y'all rocking with me, you rocking with me. If you're not, you just not rocking with me. I'm going to keep going and I'm not going to look at the time. Because if I look at the time, I know I'm going to stop this video and say it's too long. So I'm not going to look at the time. We making a junk journal. It's National Scrapbook Day. Hey, y'all, with your girl. <laughs> you all, on a serious note, the thing about mixed media, it takes time. Mixed media projects are not fast-paced projects. Why? Because nine times out of ten, when you're doing mixed media and you're doing layers after layers, it means that you have to have a lot of drying time. Sometimes you can't dry with the heat tool. You got to let stuff sit and let it dry on its own. So that's all a part of mixed media. So that's why I'm not going to look at the, at the clock. Because I know I will stop this video in the middle of this journal being completed. All right, y'all. So here we go. We did three steps so far. And look how wide our journal is. We did some shimmer, just added color to the pages. And then we went in with some um, drips and puddles. And then we went in with our splatter, right? Okay, so let me set this aside. I'm going to clean this here mess real quick. If you need to stop the video for any reason, go ahead and stop the video while I'm cleaning up and getting ready to go to the next step. If you have finally decided that you want to work with your girl, play with your girl, go ahead and stop the video. Go get your stuff that you need. We passed the acrylic paint stage. So 
if you want to just do a junk journal without without all the wet medium, this is the time to do it because we finna get into all of the ephemera, the fabric, or the trims and laces. That's the next step. All right, so pause the video. So as you can see, I was telling y'all about this mat. So all I did with this mat was took a white a wet wipe, and you see I wiped that up. That puddle of paint is gone. I can reuse this mat right there we go it's done now what you see up under it is up under it i'll clean that up later but the mat itself is cleaned up perfectly clean all right so now let's go to our next step our next step that we're going to be doing now is that we're going to add um some of our ephemera so I said I wanted to use some of these guest tickets. I think I'm going to use two. So these guest tickets, you have the top and the bottoms. We're going to use both parts. All right, let's get out some washi tape. And I always secure my washi tape with a little adhesive because washi tape is not worth two cents if you ask me. It's all just for cuteness, right? So, let's do this. Before we add our guest checks, I want to add some tabs. And I think I want to do fabric tabs. Where my scissors? We're going to do some fabric tags. I'm going to go in and just cut some, like an inch and a half long. I'm not doing that many, you all, because this is a small journal, right? So here's my tabs I just cut with this. I hope y'all could see me. I have to remember to try to get into the... Um, I'm going to start with my first tab on this third page. All right, for my tabs, I'm going to glue them in with my hot glue gun real quick right so this is ribbon this is a lemon ribbon got this from dollar tree fell in love when i first seen it so we're just gonna put a dab of glue on one side and i'm gonna add this here we're gonna put some glue on the other side and keep it moving right put this down no rhyme, no reason. This is a junk journal. Nothing to be perfect. All right, I'm going to take a little stack. Go down to another one. Do the same thing. I'm going to add a dot of glue on one side. See if I can line it up. All right. Let's go do the next one. Um, we're going to do the same thing. We're taking some glue. These, again, I just cut these like a half an inch long. Okay. Putting that there. Let's grab some more paper. Add another one. So I'm doing the back sides first, you all, and then I'll come back and I'll do the other side. Okay. All right, here we go. We're going back in and we're going to do glue the opposite sides. All I'm doing is taking a little piece of glue, putting it on that tip and closing it up. That's it. Okay, let's take this one. Put some glue. Now, if you don't want to use hot glue, you do not have to use hot glue. You could use whatever adhesive you want. I just prefer to use hot glue and get it done with. If you don't want to use ribbon, you can use paper. On the other one that I showed you, I used some paper tabs that I made out of scrap paper. Okay? This time I wanted to use fabric. 
cute. All right, I'm going to do one more. Okay. Here we go. One more, and then we'll be done with the tabs. Now, you can make your tabs as big as you want them. You can make them as small as you want them. I did one and a half inch strips and folded them over. That's all I did. Using this glue gun. Quick and simple. All right, there's my tabs. Okay. Now we're going to go in and we're going to start adding some ephemera. I'm going to use this here washi tape to glue these, tag, these guest tags in. All right. It's no rhyme, no reason. You can glue them, glue them wherever you want to glue them. Okay. I'm going to start off with one here. And all I'm simply going to do is take this glue and I'm going to put a little bit of down the side. Take this washi tape. I try to use a thin washi tape. You don't have to use a wide one. And you put one half on the page, one half hanging out. And then I'm going to take that other half and... I'm going to put some glue here on this side of the washi tape. Now, I want to glue it to flap this way, right? So then that means I have to take this end and put it on the washi tape. And here it down. Make sure it's even. Flip the page. Make sure it's adhered. And you have your first flap. First flap is done. Right? Okay. Now I have another one. I'm going to put that towards the back of the book. So now I put that one in the front. I go and find the center of the book. And I know that I'm going to put this guest tag somewhere on this side. We're going to try it right here. So I'm going to take this. Put some glue here, right? Get my washi tape, do the same thing. One half of the washi tape down on the edge of the paper. Make sure I leave enough off that's going to go on the tab, right? Just like that. Now I'm going to take my guest check, put a little, put a little glue here. Don't have to put much. And because I want it facing this way, I'm going to use my right side of the tab, of the guest check, and I'm just going to lay it on top of that washi tape. Let it adhere for a few seconds. Flip the page over. And there we go. Tab two is in. The only thing I do not like about this stuff, this stuff is so sticky, you all. It is ridiculous. All right, we got the bottom of the guest check. We're going to use those as well. So we put the guest check where? Our first guest check is right here. We're going to go to the center. Right, that's the center of our book. Now let me try to find a spot. Right here is great to put this first guest check tab. We're gonna put that on the side, just like we did the guest check itself. All right, so we're gonna put some glue here. Halfway washi. Right? And because we want this to flap like this, we're going to put it on the right side. Put a little bit of glue. Not too much. And then we're going to put this on the edge. 
on top of the washi tape. Let it adhere for a few seconds. We're going to flip it, rub it in, and we have this flip out right there. Okay, now let's go back to the center of the book. Now we're going to put the second one. Let's find that guest check. Here's that guest check. So now we know we want it after that. So let's find a middle middle ground. Here we go. We're going to put the second guest check here. And then you all, I got to clean this stickiness off of my hands. Because it'll just mess up everything. Oh, that glue is a good glue. But oh my God, it's so sticky. And it, it feels like it never dries. Okay. Let's put this down halfway. Apply more on the back. Just a little bit. Put the guest check stub right there on there. Let it catch a few seconds. Flip over. Rub. Rub. And we have our second guest receipt flipped out all right let me try to get this glue off my hands you all i'm not looking at that tag <laughs> even though my mind is on that time i know this time then flew you all but i'm having fun i hope you having fun and i'm not going nowhere so i don't care about rushing all right so here we go now we put our guest checks up in there right now we're going to go in and use my tiny itty bitty backgrounds and we are going to use this one right here and we're going to make some itty bitty little dots and stuff everywhere right and you just putting it I love that. All right. You don't have to put as much, but that's my opening page, and I like that. All right. You can skip pages if you want to. If you don't want to skip pages, you don't have to. If you don't want to do this step at all, you don't have to. You just add an extra interest to your journal. That's all this is. Just extra interest to the journal see that I like it if you don't want it you don't have to do it you can skip skip this step and you all this is pre-recorded so if you feel at any time that you need to go and move on to see what else I did by all means do that right get to the end and let me know how you like it Okay, so you just add an extra interest. That's all. No rhyme, no reason. Is it a right or wrong? No, it's not. It's just we playing around and we having fun. This is a junk journal, everybody. A junk journal. That's what this is. The junk journal all right you could use any kind of stamp you have it doesn't matter to add interest if you if you don't want dots and you have a mixed media mixed media background stamp that you want to use with a, a design use it that's all this is it's just making extra interest on the background Okay, and remember, first, second, and third is what I'm doing. Some of them I'm tapping one time, and then I'm going back. Some of them I'm not. It's up to you. 
what you want to do. It's no wrong or no right. Nice subtle prints. That's what I like. While we going through, let's open up our pages where maybe the paint got stuck and dried. It's okay because we're going to add something there. Right? We, we adding something there. Don't look like nothing happened. We just added those dots. Okay? Now, with this journal, don't be afraid to open your journal up like this so you can get the insides. You just make an extra interest in your journal. That's all you're doing. Okay? No two pages should look alike. No two pages should look alike. All right, we got this over here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to put something to draw our eye to this little mistake, sort of say, that you might feel is a mistake, but really it's not. It's just art. Every page should have something. Okay. Every page should have something on it. No page is staying plain. Unless that's what you want. In this here journal, I want something on every page. Something different. Now, a lot of journals that I have done that you put together that's not mixed media, you have the pages that repeat itself. Well, with this, I don't really want nothing to repeat. I don't want the back to look like the front, and I don't want the front to repeat the back. I want it to be different. Right? Okay, and we at the back. Okay, all right, so we finished with our tiny, um, tiny little itty bitty background. So you all saw how those pages came out and how those pages look. All right, so now let's add some index cards. We got yellow index cards here. We're going to add perhaps some pockets. Okay. So we got this right here. All I'm doing is cutting. And we're going to add this pocket. So if you want to put something in a pocket, you can do that. Um, let's corner around this, this corner. Right, since our and all we doing is the three is the two sides. Now the glue don't want to come out. I don't got time for this. Right. Okay, here we go. All right, there's a pocket. Gotta let it dry. 
We'll come back. Let's find another spot that we might want to put a, a pocket in. Okay, let's try one of these little ripped areas. All right, let's do another one. All we're going to do is, again, just make it a pocket, just like that. Okay. We not worried about this side because I'm going to put something else over there on that side. So you don't got to really be worried saying, well, what's she going to do with that little end? I have something in store for that. Okay. There's our second pocket. Let's go to the middle of the book so we can put two pockets in the front. Let's see. A pocket, pocket. Um, let's do a pocket right here. Okay, here we go. We're just going to corner around this. Okay. Let's put some glue. So you can add something, memorabilia, a note, a receipt, or whatever. So that's pocket one. And then we're going to do another pocket. Let's do... A pocket right here okay okay we're gonna fold this over just so I know where to cut okay all right Let's corner around this round over here. That's too short. I want it wider than that. I want it to come up to here. Hmm. I'm cutting all kind of craziness, huh? Girl, get your life. Get your life. All right. How about that? I know y'all like, Tina, what in the devil? What in the devil? Okay. It's a junk journal, y'all. We ain't, we ain't trying to make nothing cute, 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 see? All right. I think I'm ready now. Eyes ready. I'm ready to put it down, to glue it down. Y'all, what that time looking like? What is that time looking like? I'm scared to ask. Definitely not looking until I get finished. I know. If y'all stay with me this whole video, y'all really my family. <laughs> All right. That's there. So we got four pockets. Four flip outs. Now we are going to move on down 
to the tool. We want some tool up in here. So, let's get busy. Here we go. Let's start in the middle. Let me find the middle of this journal. Okay, we're going to start in the middle. Now, this is how I burn tool. If I do not have anything to attach the tool to or to burn the tool against, I always use an adhesive just to glue to stick the tool to, adhere to before I could burn it. Right, so we're going to burn some tool. I'm putting a little bit of adhesive, not a lot of adhesive. Here's my tool. I'm just going to tear, right? Now, you know I'm going to turn the heat gun back on. That's how you burn tool. All right, so be cautious with your ears. But here we go. I'm just going to let this adhere to this tool, right? I want it to be bulky. I do not want it to be thin. That's why I doubled it up. I doubled it up for that reason. Just give it a few seconds to adhere to the adhesive, the tool that is. Okay? Remember, this adhesive right here is very sticky, y'all. You could use whatever you want, but if you don't have nothing that is holding the tool down that you could burn the tool to, you have to adhere the tool long, right? So I gave it a few minutes to just let it catch on this um, little sticky glue stuff over here. This stuff right here, baby. All right, here we go, y'all. It's adhered down a little bit. It's staying. Remember, you could use any kind of liquid adhesive, anything that was going to make this tool stick to the page. All right, we finna burn it. Here we go. Here we go. I used different. I doubled it up. See how it's burning? The heat is gonna burn that tool. The longer you let it sit there, the darker it's going to get, the more it's going to burn. And you burn it to how you want it to be. Burnt tool number one. That's how easy it is. I love this technique. Let's burn some more tool. We're going to turn some of these, flip some of these pages, and we're going to burn too. All right, here we go. Um, the book is going to be filled out, right? So you don't want your, I don't like my junk journals to be lopsided. I'm going to add some other elements to it. So right now, I'm, I'm making the middle part kind of filled so that when I start adding stuff on the edges, it's not going to be that the edges is bulky and the middle of the book is hollow to say. Can you say that? Can I say that? It's going to be balanced out, in other words. So I'm putting this here. This is going to help me balance out my journal. And I love the look. Right? Something different. You have to give it a time. To adhere, I'm trying to stay in camera. Y'all, what that time looking like? <laughs> I purposely did not put that clock in front of me because I have a clock that I have in my room that I could just look and glance at and see what's what. I purposely moved it because I knew that if I look at that clock, what was going to happen? Here we go. I'm burning. And you see how it just turns? It just melts. And then you direct the tool where you want it to go. Okay. And you melt it as much as you want to melt it. That's all I want. It's making my the middle of my book fuller. Right? So it won't be hollow when I go to add stuff on the edges. All right. Let's do a few more in the center. 
And then we moving out. We're going to move out. I want to kind of make it balanced now. I want it all... Let's put some right here. So all I do again is just make sure I put a light coat of the adhesive. And again, you can use what adhesive you want. I'm using the sticky stuff. Gonna have to clean my hands. Take the tool, rip it, and then I double it because I want it to be thick. And then I just take it, lay it down. And then go in with my little tool here, right? And you don't get it right on the first run, but you just lay it down, let it adhere to that glue, let it lay where it's gonna lay. You can even close it up for a few minutes if that'll help you. Just don't let it dry all the way where it tear the pages. Right? This is what I mean. You could just flip it over like this and then open it back up and make sure that it's a here. All right, we finna burn. Here we go. We burning. I love this effect. And I, I, I realize it's not for everybody. Everybody not going to like it. I love it. Burnt tool. Right? Okay. I did the middle to the back. Now we're going to the front. And we're going to put some in the front in a few places. This was the middle of the book. Let's start right here. You could do how much you want. It's up to you. If you don't have any tool, you don't have to do this at all. This is a step you can fast forward and uh, go on to the next thing. We almost done with this journal. But I wanted to junk a journal today. And I thought maybe y'all would want to come along. I have been having a lot of people sending me messages about how to um, burn tool. So this is the opportunity to see me burn tool. And I'll probably be doing it on some other projects today too. Because y'all know I like burning tool. Right? So this is for my people that rock with me and wanted to know how to do it. It's a very nice technique and it adds a lot of texture and a lot of interest to your projects. All right, let's burn. You hold it until it's melted to what to your satisfaction. Once it's melted to your satisfaction, then you stop. I love it. Burnt tool. Okay. Let's do another one. And then we'll be done burning tool. Let's go right here. Again, this is filling out the inside of my book, which I like because... I'm going to put some other things on the edges, and we don't want it to be unbalanced. All right, here we go. This time, I'm going to close it and let it just sit for a few seconds. Okay. We're going to close it and let it sit. And as you all can see, it's puffed out from where we first started. All right, let's burn. 
aim to where you want it to burn and let it start burning. And as it burns, you move them the heat tool so it can continue to burn evenly. All right, burnt two. Okay, I love it. As you're burning, you are also drying up the adhesive. All right, I gotta wipe my hands again. I'm blue everywhere. We almost finished with this junk journal, you all. What that time looking like? <laughs> Your girl did it this round on y'all. Y'all used to my short videos. This one right here took a minute, but it's National Scrapbooking Day. All right, here we go. Let's go with some washi. Where is our washi at? We're going to do some uh, washi tape. And now I know I had a whole tube of washi tape, and didn't I show the washi tape to y'all? And I don't know where the washi tape. Oh, here we go. All right. This one right here. I love this washi. Look at those lemons. I love that washi. All right. So we're going to go in. We're going to start from the beginning. And we're going to lay down some washi. This is a lemon theme junk journal. But you can have whatever theme you want. All right. I always put a little adhesive. Right? Because this washi tape, I told y'all, ain't worth two cents. So we're going to put some adhesive there. And we're going to go in and we're going to put washi down. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. I love it, y'all. I love it. I don't want none right there. Okay. Let's put washi right here. This time, I'm going to fold this washi on this little flip. A little flip out. Look here. I done stuck it together. That's that, that's that, um, that's that tape, honey. That tape, I mean, that, that adhesive. Let me do this and get all this extra adhesive up. Because that stuff, whoo. Y'all know I'm a Beacons girl. Beacons don't give me all this trouble. I When it starts to dry up, I rub it on off my fingers and I go on about my business. This here stuff right here, whoo, child. This stuff had your gummy, gooey, and all that. All right, y'all. Can y'all see? I hope. Y'all in front, I'm in frame while I'm doing all of this here video. All right. So now you just want to go through your journal and you want to just add washi tape, some extra interest um, throughout. No rhyme, no reason. Just add your washi tape in different places of your journal. Okay, that's all I'm doing. All right, we're going to keep going. And it's a functioning journal, you all. So the more you work in your journal, the more you do stuff in the journal, the looser it's going to be. It might be a little sticky because we just putting the journal together. But the more you use it, the looser it's going to get. Don't forget that. Okay. No. I need another piece. Girl, get your life. Look at that. Oh, I love them lemons. You all, I took this, this lemon washi tape out of my vault. 
for this project today. Because I have not seen this anymore in the store. I got this from uh, Michael's a few years ago. And I fell in love with it. I went back and I found one last roll. And I used that and put the rest of it in my vault. Because, honey, I love this. This lemon washi. I do. All right, you all. So, this is about the end. We almost finished. All we doing now is basically just adding a few little tidbits to this here junk. Jenna. <laughs> y'all see I call it Jenna. Instead of journey, journal, because Tina didn't know what she was doing. I just knew that I wanted to do this here, lemon theme, journal, and that's what I did. I'm going to put some more up here. So you all, you could take something as simple as this little, little journal that I got out of, um, Joanne's and turn it into a keepsake because your girl is all about preserving memories and so you can journal in here your thoughts you could do daily scriptures in here it doesn't matter this can be used for recipes if that's what you want to do you could do that so many things I like handmade items now, could we have bought this? I'm sure I could have found me a lemon theme journal, but it wouldn't be like this because this was created from my own hands. And that's the beauty of crafting. A lot of my family and my friends do not understand why I'm so crazy about crafting because it's a handmade item. You're not going to find it nowhere else. And it came from me, my mind, and my hands. That's what I like about it. So, you don't even have to use the two strips of, of tape. You could use one, but I actually like that. So, that's what I did. We got another, um, we got another little pocket. I'm going to show y'all one more tip. Before we um before we leave this video about this adhesive, if you're using this sticky glue that I'm using or whatever you're using and it got your hands sticky, I'm gonna show you a good a good little tip to help you. And if your pages are sticking together because of the tool. And the adhesive that we use, I got something to fix you with that too. Okay? So, I'm going to show y'all all of my little tricks and my little trades before we leave this here video. I like that like that. All right. We got a few more to go. All right. Let's put some adhesive here and some washi. Remember, I told you ain't no mistakes in crafting because we're going to cover those mistakes right on up. And that's what we're doing right here. We 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 cutting them, covering them mistakes right on up. Nothing goes to waste, and nothing is a failure. Now, I had to learn the hard way about this washi tape. If you don't put nothing down. To, to keep this washi tape like kind of firm, you, you're going to be messed up because, honey, this here washi tape ain't worth two cents, I tell you. When I say two cents, I do mean two cents. Watch what we finna do. We're going to take this tool. 
right here. Look at my fingers. Oh, see all that messy glue? Get some of nerves. Okay, we're gonna take this tool, right? And we're gonna put a little glue here. All right, and we finna burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. What that time looking like, y'all? I know it cannot be two hours. Please don't be two hours. Please don't be two hours. Okay, here we go. Where's my tiny attacher? Y'all know I love them too. <laughs> I love my... Oh, no. I want to put a button. Let's put a button there. Let's find a button. Here's all my yellow buttons. We're going to put a button right there, honey. Honey. That's what we going to do. We going to put a button right there. In the middle of this burnt tool with this heat glue gun. Love it. I like texture. I do. Okay, y'all. Here we go. That's done. And I let the bubbles come through. Y'all see it? I hope I was in frame. Yep. That's covered up, honey. That was that little tear we had. So on one side, we put some of this washi tape. And then on the other side, we put us a little burnt tool and a button. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. 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 All right, I want to put some um washi tape right here on our little ticket our little receipt this time i'm just gonna put the washi there i ain't gonna put it over the back side just put it right there just extra that's all we're gonna put some down here y'all we adding some lemons who likes lemons anybody like lemons i love lemons I like sour and savory. I'm not really a, a sweet girl. But some people don't like sour. I love sour. All right, we got a pocket here. We're going to put some, some washi. We almost done, y'all. We're going to put some lemon washi here. Some lemon wash your hair. It's a junk journal. Can y'all see? I'm trying to remember to stay in frame. Sorry if I got out. All right, now we finna burn some tool. Remember, I'm putting a little. We're gonna take off some of this tool. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, y'all, we finna burn. Yep, let's find us a button. All right. Let's put us some little trim in here. 
All right. We're going to put some trim in here. Oh, boy. Are you all doing anything for today? Who's going to be creating? Please leave it in the comments so I can come over and watch what you making for this National Scrapbook Day. Because I don't plan to go anywhere today. I'm going to sit and I'm going to craft. And I'm going to look at videos of other people crafting. This is not how I wanted this to turn out. Okay, but this is what we finna do. We are gonna just make a bow on top of here. Because I did the strings wrong. I was trying to put the doggone bow on the back. I don't know how Anna White does that. Or Jill Norwood. But honey, I love that technique when they be doing that. All right, let's glue this down. On top of the burnt tool. We're going to cut this off a little bit. And I love that pocket. Too cute. All right, y'all. This is the junk journal. I junked this journal. You junked it with me. And let's do a flip through and we done. Now, you got little scrapes of glue or whatever. I'm going to take that off real nice and clean up my little, my little outside of my journal. But I love it. So this is our journal. We junked this journal. I want to put some washi here. I can't let it. Wait a minute now. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are y'all laughing at me like this girl that lost her mind? If it's anybody still watching me, if you're still watching me, go ahead and put in that comment section right now. I'm still here, Tina. I'm with you, girl. Put down there in that comment section. I'm with you, girl. So I know at this point of the video, y'all was still with me. Was anybody listening to Tina? Anybody listening, still listening to me? Child, because I didn't jump this journal and didn't look at that time. So put down in the comments, I'm still here. I'm still with you, girl. I love that. That is so cute. Y'all, let's put some more. Um, let's put some little dots on, on the little. Yeah, let's do that. Can we can we finish this on up? I like that right there. Yeah, I didn't want it to be just stocky yellow. I like it. All right, so this is the journal. We did a little. Now I told y'all I was gonna show y'all a little tip, right? about this stickiness and I got to look around and see the magic thing I want to share with y'all. What did I do with it? Where you at? Where you at? Any other time I see you falling over, knocking over, you know what I do when I have stickiness all over my projects you all and I don't see what I did with it because I clean my room. I take baby powder and I will put baby powder all up in here and that'll make it'll take the stickiness away. All right. I don't know what I did with my baby powder. I just used it the other day and I, when I was cleaning my room again, straightening it up. All right. So you could take baby powder powder and just rub your little baby powder on all your little sticky areas. And it'll take the stickiness away. So this is our junk journal, y'all. I love it. I think it came out cute. Again, this is a mixed media junk journal. This is just not a regular junk journal where you put all the ephemera and the papers and the, and the cellophane bags. No, this is a mixed media junk journal. All right. Got another pocket there. You could put a stamp 
there of a of a saying. You could do anything. It's a pocket, right? There goes some of our burnt tool, some more burnt tool. I just love that turning the page and that burnt tool is there. We put a button here and this is why we filled in the middle so that when we put these things on the end it will balance it out okay so this is our junk journal i'm glad y'all stuck with me if you are here to the end you need to type in the very end put in the comments the very end if you stuck with me to the end of this video Please put in the comments, the very end. All right, I'm your girl, Tina. Thanks for hanging out with me. Happy National Scrapbook Day. I'll be here all day, you all. So keep it on lock and see what the next project that I'll be working on. I promise you it won't be this long. But I'm glad you came with me to the very end. Next video, I'll see you. Wash them hands, stay blessed, and keep creating. Love you, family.